What's up, Dina fam, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Obviously, you can tell by the title down below, we are doing a perfume haul. Recently, I talked to you guys about how I recently purchased the Dossier perfumes that went viral on TikTok. It was all of my For You page, and I caved on it. And I suggested doing a perfume haul for you guys, and you guys are interested in, or at least a few of you were. So, yeah, today we're doing a perfume haul. Um, I also want to talk to you about where they sit out on the shelf and then why I actually have them displayed on. Plus, also I need to figure out how to get the dossier ones anyways onto this. So, we will go, God, go ahead and do that. So, without further ado, you guys know the gist. If you like videos like this, this video a big thumbs up because it helps me out so, so much. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel because you know you want to. And don't forget to go ahead and hit that notification bell down below so you never miss a video with me, your girl, Cinder D. And let's just go ahead and... And get into this. Alright, so this is your first time to my YouTube channel. Hello, how are you? Welcome to the Diva Fam. I'd love for you guys to go ahead and subscribe down below. I post videos two to three times a week. They are beauty, makeup, and lifestyle videos. Today we're talking all about perfumes. I also do monthly giveaways, so if you guys are interested in entering, ent entering into any of my giveaways, I will always have the current one a link down in the description box for you guys to check it out. Um, they are US, majority of them are US, but sometimes they're also international. We're so close to 700. I don't know when this video comes out or any time when my videos come out if we will hit that sometime soon, but I hope so because I would really like to do a really special video for you guys um, and a really great giveaway to make sure I include everyone so that is also international as well whenever we hit um, 700 subscribers. So again, I love you guys so much. Let's go ahead and jump into this video. So starting off, we are talking all about perfumes today. This is actually the tray that I have my perfumes sitting on. It is kind of those really pretty um, mirror trays. It does have a little bit of a cute rail that goes to it. I found this at Marshall's. I believe it was like, I think maybe $15 the most. And you can always find these there at Marshall's. I always have better luck at my Marshall's compared to my TJ Maxx when it comes to finding um, trays like this. Now when it comes to perfumes, I will say majority of the time my TJ Maxx has a better perfume collection than... Um, and then my Marshalls does. I don't know why. For me, Marshalls has a better makeup selection, um, a better clothes selection, and a better handbags and like other stuff that I really like, like for my dogs and like decor and candles. The only time I ever go to TJ Maxx is if I'm looking for, sometimes TJ Maxx has really good wall art, I will say that, because I really got a really nice mirror from it, um, that I would have never found at Marshalls, but, um... Yeah, their perfume selection is really, really good. And they also have really great jewelry at Marshalls and TJ Maxx. But I feel like the TJ Maxx here for me in Fort Wayne has way better jewelry. Anyways, as I keep rambling on. So this is the tray that I'm glad I'm going to go ahead and set this on. Um, I'm going to remove, remove the dossier boxes that are behind us. Oh, no. Um, and put that back up here because we're going to put all the perfumes back on it again. Gosh, dag nabbit, I forgot I had those sitting up there. Okay, so normally that's where they sit right here. I also have a few body sprays I'm currently using right now. I keep the body sprays up here um, just because they're out of the way and they don't really fit onto the perfume tray. They did in the beginning, but they're so big and bulky. They just, just don't fit and they just don't fit the motif with the rest of like, or what I'm going for with the rest of my perfumes. So I'll talk about these really quickly. These are the three body mists that I have currently right now at the moment. This one is, these these two right here are by Pink. This is the Sugar Zest and Candy Ginger, or Candid Ginger Minty Lime. I love the citrus smell of this. It just reminds me of being on being in Mexico and the smell, the smell of a great margarita. I don't know why that like appealed to me, but it also has a slight mintiness to it at the same time too, which then reminds me of Mojito. So I think that's why I grabbed this. It was on sale, so I couldn't go wrong with it. The one I've been using the most is this one though, because it's like almost, it's like right here. It's almost gone. This is the Berry Glitz. This is the Pink Prosecco and Black Raspberry, um, a body mist by Pink. And then the last one is the Candy's Pink Apple Fragrance. Um, that I that I bought and this one was also from Marshalls or TJ Maxx, but obviously I found these two over at um, Victoria's Secret. So those sit up there. All right. So then behind me, I've got all of my perfumes. There's a little bit more over here, but we'll get into those here in a second. Also, to figure out what to do with the dossier ones. Um, and the dossier ones are a little bit more on the shallow side, so I kind of want to figure out how to put the tray up here and how to organize them all at the same time too. 
Um, so we'll figure that out here in a second. All right, so my cheapest perfume that's on my shelf is actually this one right here. This is from Five Below. Um, I forget what the name of this is called. It's called Kimberly Nude. So it's supposed to be a knockoff of the Kim Kardashian one. And I will say it's all worth it because it smells so good. And I think I smelled the, the Kim Kardashian one. I think I like this one better. It definitely has like a sweet floral scent to it. So that's something that you like. I would definitely go for this. Honestly, I don't remember if the Kim Kardashian one has the same scent to it, but it has like the same type of bottle shape. So there's that. Um, for my Swifties, I do have two Taylor Swift perfumes here. I did get one rid of one recently. Does she still have perfumes out? Does anyone know that? Because these are from her Wonderstruck um, Enchanted when they, when these all came out during, I think that was like Speak Now time. Um, when these perfumes came out, but I just can't get rid of them, and they're so good, and there's not that much left in them. This one is a roller. Honestly, I think the roller is completely full, but this one doesn't have that much left in it at all. So, but I definitely love these perfumes. I'm definitely keeping them for sure. Um, and the bottle packaging is just so good, but this one was always my favorite. Between the purple one, the, um, oh my god, the one that had the pearls around it, and it was more geared, I think, towards 1989 when she came out with that one. Um, and then this one, this the red one has was always my favorite. This is the Enchanted Wonderstruck by Taylor Swift. Um, and are all my Swifties like going nuts because she just released the track nine or was it track eleven? One of them was named Karma, and she giggled. She knows why. She knows why. I don't know. I'm excited for the Midnight's album to come out. So there's that. As for the rollers, I kind of just lay them down because they're not going to stay upright even if I like try. I think I had put it in the corner last time. Um, so there's that. Then I got another one which is right here. This is one of my all time favorites. I've been using it since high school and college. It's pink sugar. I can never get enough of it just because of how sweet it is. And anytime I've ever worn this, I've always been complimented on it because of how sweet it is. And it's just so good. If you ever find this at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, sweep it up because it's a lot cheaper than buying it from Sephora. So there's that one. And then we've got a few higher end ones that are right here for us. So we've got the Black Opium by YSL. And we also have the Good Girl by Carolina Herrera, which is this one. This one's really fun because it's like a cute, really heel. And then all you do is pop it off. And then that's how you actually do the perfume. So that one's really cool. Um, I think it's really fancy. So there's that. Then we have the Black Opium. Traditional. Smells so good. Has a little bit of a muskiness to it. But it is a little bit of a... Um, has a shadedness to it. Or a, tinted, a tint to it. That's what I meant to say. Um, I don't know. I am not a professional when it comes to perfumes. I just know what I like. You know what I mean? You know what you like. You know what scents you like. So there's that. Then we have the Michael Kors one. This is in um, Sexy Rio de Janeiro. Obviously, I really like this one. Um, it's almost gone too. And then again, this one has more of like floral and herby kind of smell to it, I think. I don't know. I also really love the packaging. The packaging is what sells me sometimes too. So there's that. Then we've got the Ariana Grande. Oh God. Which one is this one? I don't even know which one this is. I don't know which perfume this is. It just says Ariana Grande and I remember buying it. Um, I think I found this at Marshalls too at TJ Maxx. But it's really good. I don't even remember what it smells like honestly. It's been a while. Oh yeah. Very like sweet smelling. Fruity. Very like sweet. Like I said, I already said sweet, didn't I? Um, yeah, so there's that one. And then my two newest ones that I picked up recently, which you guys heard me talk about in a haul, is the Daisy Marc Jacobs So Fresh. And I know there's a few different varieties of this one. And then also the Born Dreamer by um, Charlie D'Amelio, which actually I really like this one a lot. I didn't think I was going to. Well, I actually, I lied. I did because I looked at the notes of it and the notes were really, really interesting. So there's that. I also have another roller over here, 
It just says it's called Original and it has a question mark on it. I think I got this in like a BoxyCharm or an Ipsy. But it smells more like an essential oil. Maybe that's what it is. And not a perfume. Because that's just, and that's also the feel that it's giving off. It's not giving a perfume. It's giving more of like an essential oil. Um, and just even like how the thickness of it in here. So maybe that's exactly what this is. There's no way this is a perfume, but it still smells really good. Um, okay. Last but not least are these boxes, which I keep dropping. I need to get them out of these boxes. I should have done that earlier today because it was trash day. So other than that, we've got four different perfumes to also fit onto this tray. So let me get these all out of the boxes. We'll come back over here and figure out how to organize that. Okay, really quickly while I've got you guys kind of zoomed in, we're going to figure out how to organize my perfumes in the best way possible. Um, again, I still need to figure out how to get these onto here. These are what these bottles look like. They're really fun. Sorry, it could be over here. This is where I'm zoomed in at. Um, very sleek, interesting packaging. So these will probably all go together in their own. Um, yeah. So... I think we'll put the taller bottles in the back, maybe. And then those two are kind of red ish, but that one's taller, so I can go there. Um, do that. That seems kind of good. Labeling. Grab these two. Nope. That's probably going to have to go in the back. All right, so what do you guys think of that? So right now I've got, um, I don't want to mess this up. Nope, it's sliding already. Um, so can you guys kind of see how I went ahead and organized that? I've kind of got the taller ones in the back. I kind of almost went by color, if you guys noticed. You know, the pink, red, and red. Um, these taller bottles kind of going together these shorter pinkish shades going together and then all of the dossier ones go in there as well and then the little roller ball is going to be in the back and then this one i don't even know what to do with this i don't know if i even like it i almost think i'm going to go ahead and declutter this little one just because it's just not my jam um so there is that really quickly i actually missed a perfume it fell into my vanity drawer it's this one this is the elizabeth and james nirvana this one, I tell you, is a cult favorite of mine, um, and definitely there's a really big following. It's a, it's a cult favorite, you know what I meant, you know what I meant to say. Um, but this was actually one of my first purchases of a high-end perfume um, back when I was younger, and I still have it. I think I purchased this back in, like, college. Um, once I figured out that the Elizabeth and James was actually Mary-Kate and Ashley's brand, and they named it after their brother and sister, Elizabeth and James, Elizabeth Olsen, you guys know what I'm talking about, from the Marvel series, Miss Wanda herself, WandaVision. Um, but yes, this perfume, if you ever see this, there's two different ones, there's a white one and there's a black one. Try this out, I'm kidding you not, you will love it. So we're gonna find a spot for this one really quickly. I'm probably just gonna put it back here. Um, seems like the best one in the third lane with the pink and white ones. And I think we're good there. So I think that's pretty much the end of this video for the most part and my battery is about to die and I'm really crouching and this is a really weird angle. So we're going to end the video right here for you guys. So if you guys have tried out any of these perfumes, please let me know. I know I kind of went on a weird ramble. I'm not, a, you know, um, a very connoisseur of perfumes, but I do love them, but I don't really know anything about how like notes and things are made and top notes, bottom notes, middle, all that kind of random stuff, which I talked about you guys in the dossier video. If anyone knows, let me know in the comments down below. But have you tried any of these perfumes? Do you like any of them? Do you have any suggestions for perfumes? 
I like sweet and like floral. Sometimes I like musky ones, but if they're too musky, it's like a no-go for me. So again, let me know in the comments down below if there's any suggestions for perfumes. So without further ado, you guys know the gist. If you like videos like this, don't this video a big thumbs up because it helps me out so, so much. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel because you know you want to. And don't forget to go ahead and hit that notification bell down below so you never miss a video with me, your girls, and your D, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.